there continues to be a divide in the heroes Hollywood is interested in honoring and audiences. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of American Sniper. Her arms aren't swinging, she's carrying something. Yeah, she's got a grenade, she's got an RKG Russian grenade, she's saying to the kid. You say a woman and a kid? You got eyes on this, can you confirm? Negative. Your call. They fry you if you're wrong. To many, many people, Chris Kyle isn't just an American sniper, he's an American hero. He not only served his country, but dared to break the military's traditional code of silence with his autobiography, American Sniper, and the interactions with the press that followed. Kyle asked the public to celebrate what the military gets right and to question what it gets wrong. That last part also made Kyle a bit of a controversial figure, as some heroes often are, and some of his supporters believe his tragic fate was in reality Kyle being silenced. All of this has resulted in intense online interest in Clint Eastwood and Bradley Cooper's film adaptation of Kyle's autobiography, yet so far the industry itself has paid little attention to the film. Eastwood's films are usually a shoe in for at least a few nominations, yet so far American Sniper has been snubbed by almost all the awards shows, including the Golden Globes. Now, one could argue that it's actually Eastwood who's been in a bit of a slump since Invictus. Hereafter, J. Edgar and Jersey Boys have also failed to make waves. Yet last year's Lone Survivor, another military flick which drummed up serious audience interest, also was ignored during award season. This has all got to be tremendously disappointing for Bradley Cooper, who not only stars as Kyle, but is also a producer here. Despite David O. Russell and Steven Spielberg both passing on American Sniper, this was supposed to be the eternal groomsman's opportunity to finally be the groom. Yet this time it seems he won't even get invited to the wedding. But that's okay, he's Rocket Raccoon. And perhaps American Sniper, like Lone Survivor, will at least get to enjoy some box office success, allowing Cooper's career to stay alive to fight for an Oscar another day. So is this really a case of a blue state industry versus red state moviegoers? Or maybe American Sniper really doesn't do Chris Kyle justice. This is, without a doubt, Bradley Cooper's best role to date. I mean, he absolutely nails it, which is fascinating because we're talking about an actor best known for portraying smarmy characters. Yet here he is doing such a phenomenal job as a modern day John Wayne or Gary Cooper. Now, as for American Sniper as a movie overall, uh, whether or not you feel this is a good movie, I think depends on how you feel about Chris Kyle and what you're looking to get out of a movie about his life. Because what you get out of American Sniper is the portrayal of an American hero, or a legend, as Chris Kyle is come to be called by his fellow soldiers. The kind of individual that the media and Hollywood likes to say no longer exists. And I think American Sniper makes a pretty good case that they do. Now, the reason I say that it makes only a pretty good case is because the movie leaves out so much of Chris Kyle's life, specifically what happens to him after he leaves the military and when the media and Hollywood do get their hooks into him. It does not discuss the very honest and therefore controversial book that Chris Kyle wrote and that this movie is based on. It does not discuss or portray how he became a lightning rod figure when he did the press tour for that book. And it doesn't discuss or portray how he even went to Hollywood and appeared on a reality TV show. None of this is covered in the film, which I find an odd choice, because I think a very strong argument can be made that Chris Kyle went to the media, he went to Hollywood, he remained true to himself and left with his integrity intact. And that's pretty powerful stuff. Hollywood and the media could not tear this individual down. And I think a big piece of evidence to that are all the people that lined his funeral procession. They line the highways to pay their respects. And real footage from that is shown over the end credits of the film. I think it's arguably the most powerful moment in the film. But when you see all those hundreds of people lined up, you think to yourself, well, would any of these civilians have known who Chris Kyle was without that book, without the media? And that's a very complex question. There's also a lot of complex questions surrounding Chris Kyle and his life uh, as representative of America's relationship with guns.
But these are complex questions that American Sniper has zero interest in addressing. But that's not to say it isn't a complex film. It is very complex, and it does a great job portraying the complexities of modern-day warfare and also the complexities of the psyche of the modern soldier. And again, it does a very good job in that regard. But I don't think that this movie is incredibly interested in reality. I mean, forget John Wayne, forget Gary Cooper. I think American Sniper portrays Chris Kyle as the new Davy Crockett, who was also a real figure, but a real figure who was very different than the legend that lived on uh, in his, with his name, literally. And I think that when you look at Chris Kyle's story and you turn off the side of your brain that says, well, was that true, and you didn't discuss that, I think the coonskin cap fits Chris Kyle pretty darn well. And I think it's really inspiring that we can still forge American heroes, especially when it seems they only exist in comic book, as comic book characters or in the past. So I would actually really uh, recommend that you go and see American Sniper and, you know, ignore all of its flaws. It has several big flaws, and I think one of uh, which, which is really chief, is that it's not as cinematic as it should be. And I think because it isn't very cinematic, it's probably not going to be able to transition beyond the Chris Kyle core demographic that is interested in a movie about his life. Uh, and I think that's why it was so far snubbed by the Golden Globes. And it's a shame that, you know, they didn't, they weren't able to get a director. I mean, Steven Spielberg passed on this and it would be interesting to see what he would have done. But I think Clint Eastwood didn't do it any favors by stripping it down to this degree, especially when it portrays this man as a legend. And again, I have no problem with that whatsoever. And I really encourage you to go and see this movie and not you know, question it and, you know, not look at it through the jaded lenses that we look at so many things these days. Because I think that not only is that, that's the other half of the equation to creating a new uh, hero, a new legend. Not only for that, those deeds to have been done, but for us to honor those deeds uh, and, you know, just let the other stuff fall away. And I think that when you look at this film and you see what Chris Kyle put on the line, what he sacrificed, I think he's worthy of being made into an American legend. Uh, and I think a number of soldiers are. And that's one thing that this movie also gets right. So that's my review of American Sniper. If you've seen the film, please leave your own thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review. And you can check out some other episodes right now.